What's up everybody, Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing in Heber City, Utah. Practicing my moves. Steamers are awesome, and I'm gonna tell you five reasons why you need a steamer for auto detailing. I just go back and forth. Hawk Pro Detailing, Heber City, Utah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Or if you don't like the video, don't like it or don't subscribe. But I wanna talk to you today about my favorite tool in the detailing arsenal, and that's the steamer. I actually own a couple of steamers, the VX5000 and the Vapor Chief 100 Continuous Fill. I still plan on doing a review and a comparison of both, because they're both really good in different ways. But the first thing I wanna talk to you about is versatility. The steamer can take the place of your air compressor if you're mobile and really help you get into nooks and crannies. And that's what's really important. You can get gunk out of seats. You can get gunk out of carpets. You can do so much with the steamer. And that's why for a thousand bucks, the versatility and the superpower that this gives you is well worth the money. So we talk about versatility and I wanna just give you a sense of how nasty cars are getting in the winter time. What I'm gonna do is show you F-bomb. It's an all-purpose cleaner or degreaser. It's diluted about 10 to one. Not sure what you can see there. But what I would do is I would just pre-treat the panel. And this is gonna help really start to release some of this grime. You know, you give it some dwell time. And then what you can do if you're in a rinseless wax situation is you can take your steamer and you can get the moisture going and really work some of that off the panel. Now, is that perfect? No way. But is it a lot safer for my paint? Absolutely. I'm gonna take a rag now uh, that I've dipped in my rinseless wash solution of choice. I love American Detailer Garage Wipeout, but I also really love Optimum No Rinse. And it's a little bit moister than usual. I'm, I'm again wanting to like work with the moisture and kind of what you do, you just see the grime there. I'm not a pro at this technique, but when you're doing either a waterless wash or a very dirty wash like this, you just wanna work as clean as you can. And you can even kind of flip it up as you go so that you're not getting any dirt that's driving into the paint. So this is pretty dirty here. I may even hit that with more steam, but if you wanna be really careful with it, you can go like this. Then you can just kind of keep working clean as you continue along the panel. After that, I would just dip this nasty dirty rag into my bucket, which has a grit guard in there. And at least that gives you a sense, looking at that panel, that you were able to use a chemical, then use steam and some moisture, and then I would just go in, and uh, I would probably hit it again with another rinseless wash pass, and then dry it down, or maybe do a, a drying aid or a spray sealant, um, and move on the, with the vehicle. And at least that gives you some versatility uh, on rinseless washing in garages, whether it's winter time uh, or summer. When I talk about versatility, let's talk about a dirty wheel like this one. Again, it's winter time in Utah. I might take my favorite all-purpose cleaner, F-bomb for instance, diluted 10 parts distilled water, one part F-bomb. I could spray this down. For the purpose of this video though, let me just show you what a little steam can do. So here I'm really just kind of dealing with the faces of the rims. You know how sometimes you can smell stuff when you're steaming? I can just smell that, that vaporized dirt in the air, if that's the way you describe it. I'd wipe this down uh, with probably my rinseless wash solution and, you know, probably do it a little bit different than this, but for the sake of this video, here we go. Wipe it down and you could dry it down and those wheels are gonna look pretty awesome. So let's talk about versatility. I love the steamer for interior detailing, especially if you're mobile and you don't wanna bring along an air compressor, I get it. Sometimes a blow dryer works pretty well, or um, a leaf blower works pretty well. But how about just this floor mat? I've done a, uh, uh, a video about rubber floor mats. I think there's an art to it. Didn't get a lot of views, you should check it out. I think it's pretty good. Um, but this is just a carpeted floor mat. And let's see what kind of work we can get just without any chemicals at all. It 
See how I'm removing large chunks of mud and gunk? Normally I'd vacuum this first. You want to work as dry as possible. I'd prefer a tornador with compressed air when I begin with a vehicle. However, if you're talking about a product that can do it all, the steamer gets you great results fast. Another reason why I love the steamer is for door jams. You can either use it alone or you can spray some all-purpose cleaner all over your door jam. Now, could you wipe this down with a rag? You could, but to supercharge the process, and you really don't need an APC in this case, um, but let's say you've done the APC, hit the steam on, and there you have it, your door jam, that whole area, the kick plate, whatever you want to call it, from the paint, this plastic area is all clean. Sometimes, if there's a little residue left over from your all-purpose cleaner in the steamer, I'll hit it with a spritz of O&R or Wipeout, hit it with compressed air of the steamer, and your door jams look glossy and they're perfect. You can even throw a spray sealant on there. I've got bead maker here. Whatever your spray sealant of choice you want. Yeah, bead maker's good on plastics too. Then you can just rub that in. And all of a sudden, and I know I'm going a little off topic here versus uh, just talking about a steamer, but that's the world of detailing. People are crazy obsessive. Um, I love the smell of bead maker. You ever tried bead maker on an interior? That nice little peach smell or whatever that is. You know, let that dry or whatever, but you know, a little steam, a little O&R, a little spray sealant, and uh, that's looking awesome. So we've talked about exteriors, floor mats, door jams. How about little air vents? Now, you always want to be careful when you're working with a steamer. You want to move it very quickly and don't get too close. This gets so hot that you can damage things, especially electronics. So that's just a safety tip, but for speed and versatility, this is great for an air vent. I love to blow it out with compressed air after, but if you don't have compressed air, just don't get it too wet. Make sure you dry everything when you're done. All right, I just noticed something. See those streaks? Something spilled there. This is a perfect time to use steam. Remember, you're using steam, not chemicals. You can sell that to your customers as being eco-friendly. I'm moving the steamer head very quickly. I'm using no chemicals. And look at what we can accomplish once the vapor dissipates. Perfectly clean, sanitized, amazing. Where the steamer really shines is these cup holders. You just follow it up with a microfiber towel and you can keep working it in there. You know, if there's more gunk, you just kind of go as needed. But usually a steamer, although wet, you're gonna have to wipe up all this stuff, um, will get most of the gunk that is in your cup holders. So it just delivers superpowers for you. I mean, could you do this without a steamer? Yeah, sometimes, although I've been in spots where even my harshest chemicals couldn't get things. That enough steam, and you gotta do it smart, but enough steam does the trick. And you can just deliver those professional results. Even if I were an enthusiast and I wanted to like have the best stuff and know how to clean a car, I think I would definitely recommend a steamer. It comes with a, a million different attachments. Shit, man. What do you think about that sound effect? Leave your comments below if you think I'm a ridiculous human being. Um, I like to use old terry cloths or microfibers. I heard somewhere that if you use a nice microfiber towel, especially a, just a new one, that it can... Uh, can really mess with the fibers, the high heat. This is like my wife's hair tie, because I couldn't find a rubber band. Um, I never figured out how to fold this really well. So what I'll do is I'll use like a hair tie or a rubber band to sort of like clamp everything in there like that. This is really something special. Um, but you can use it for leather or vinyl. So I'll just show you, get the heat going there and then 
you know, you want to move quickly. You don't want to let it sit on the leather for too long. Follow up with another microfiber just to see how it looks. And you can do that on your leather seats. And again, the great thing about this method is, that looks really good. Um, you're not using chemicals. So you've got this amazing tool that you pay for one time, you wanna treat it well, and you're not using chemicals. Tell me in the comments below, what do you use steam for? What did I miss? What do you love steam for? What do you hate steam for? Have you ever damaged something with steam? It happens, you gotta be careful with this stuff. But it is also an amazing tool. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you do, I appreciate. I learned so much from YouTube and I love watching other people's videos and so I hope I can kind of contribute to the conversation and maybe even help some young people or new people in the industry who are just starting out looking for answers. You wanna use Steve.